Yo guys, what's up? Uh, welcome back to another very, very, very just kidding. Welcome back to another uh, Girl Tech Fan Game tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how you can add PlayFab and PlayFab uh, currency so you can change it for your friends uh, to give them more money. Credit to, uh, what's his name? Dojoy uh, for, well, I think he got these scripts from someone else, but uh, I watched his tutorial on how to use them, so you know. Alright, let's get right into the video. So first, go to my Discord and go to PlayFab stuff and download these four things. Uh, if you have PlayFab login and PlayFab manager already installed, uh, just uh, install this PlayFab login because it's different than the other one. It has more stuff on it. Never mind, you do need the new PlayFab PlayFab manager. <laughs> first, just go into your game and go to your PlayFab login or PlayFab manager and rename it to PlayFab manager. Obviously. If it's already manager, then you don't need to. Uh, then go to your PlayFab login script. You can delete it if you want, but I'm going to keep it there because I need to remember the name of that stuff for a second here. Anyway, add your four new scripts. You can see I just did that and uh, put them on here. So you need purchase. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to wait for this to load. Okay, here we go. Uh, now, uh, because you're still on your PlayFab manager, uh, you can see I, I've only added the PlayFab login so far enter your currency name so basically what this means is like if you want it to be called coins or beans or whatever uh, I'm gonna pick something I, I named mine doubloons so basically uh, coins is how many coins you want people to start with and currency text is basically the text that'll say how much money people have so let me make that real quick I, I made one and I, I just added some text so I can see where it is but now I'm gonna delete the text Go to my manager and I've already added it here. Uh, and I don't know if I already said this, but coins are the amount that you start with automatically. So I'm going to make it when you start your game, you start with 100 coins. Let's do that. Band scheme name, uh, scene name, my bad. Band scene name is the scene that it'll switch you to if you're banned. I don't have one of these yet, so uh, I'm not going to put that there. Alright, I'm gonna add the uh, the new PlayFab Manager script that you just got and put it into. He Wait, which one is it? Crap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. PlayFab platform. My, my bad, my bad. PlayFab Manager, put that in there. Uh, that has nothing on it, so you don't really need to do anything with that. <laughs> Alright, now uh, you have to go to your PlayFab overview or whatever you call it go to economy wait for it to load <laughs> click currency new currency currency uh just actually just do display name right now doubloons or whatever name you gave it initial deposit do it the same as you did it uh amount you want to give per day uh and one sec and I'm just gonna give my currency code like a DB for doubloons and recharge maximum you just do um, the like max amount you want people to be able to get uh, so I just put it maximum then click save currency oh so you can see these from my final settings uh, and you also need to do one more thing go here then go to title settings and I because so you can't see one sec go to title settings then in the top go to API features then go down to enable API features and allow client to subtract virtual currency the second one down under enable API features sorry I don't want to show you that screen because there's a lot of stuff on it uh, that I don't want you to see all right bring you back and obviously, make sure to click the save button at the bottom. And uh, this also allows you to add a message of the day, so let me just do that real quick. So this will be my message of the day board. Let me make it smaller. Move it down like this. Let's add some... I don't feel like making another one. Come out a little. There we go. Delete this name this M O T D like that and then go over to 
your play fab manager message of the day text and make that your MOTD then go back to your play fab manager thing let me one sec then go to oh my god my voice go to content uh title data new title name add a new one MOTD and the value is what it's gonna say so what's up beta testers welcome to the game wow and then click save and that'll add to your message of the day board okay now let's make it so you can purchase something so take your cosmetic i'm gonna do the cowboy hat and we're gonna control c control v this button right here scale it to the side so it covers both of them and scale it like this so it covers both of them then go like this make that smaller not that small Anyway, uh, uh, get rid of the enable, oh wait, why does it even have enable cosmetic on it? Get rid of all the cosmetic things on the button. And then add your purchase script that you also got from my Discord. Wait. Uh, and the cosmetic name, cowboy hat, coin price, the price of the hat. <laughs> uh, so... I'm gonna do 500. Play Fab login. So you should play Fab manager. And then your enable and disable are the two things, these things right here. So enable and disable. So let me go back. Uh, enable. Let me, wait. Lock this. Enable. And disable. Now let me cover this back up. And yeah, when you click that button and you have enough coins, then it'll give you it. And let me uh, file save because now I've added a bunch of things. And now, if you want, you could cover it and put the disable script so when you click it, it'll disable it. But you can also do this and just have this button right here. Uh, make it a little bit smaller, and then uh, also get rid of these. Oh wait, no, get rid of these two things. This what the hell? <laughs> what? what the hell? The fuck? That was a weird glitch. Anyway, <laughs> now uh, di you di you just disable both of those, and then once you click this button, then it uh what am i trying to say it'll enable both those and then you can get the disable script from my discord and object to disable you take this go like this so then it'll also get rid of the button yeah there we go now the disable scripts in my discord <laughs> actually i check i check the code you don't need this it's not stupid all right here is how you add uh the money to people that you like <laughs> so uh you go here search players uh oh look more people have my game anyway this is me so then you go to virtual currency click on your currency and you can add as much as you want so obviously it's me so i need as much as i need <clears throat> uh i think a hundred thousand will be good enough a million a mm, hundred thousand uh reason uh because i am the best Anyway, uh, then you save it, and they have the money in-game by 